Hello everyone, hello again, welcome to another session of animation review. Uh, I hope <laughs> someone else join us because uh, there are only four, four people here, but we also have uh, only four uh, links <laughs> for review. So I hope uh, that all of you guys here and uh, you will um you will enjoy today's session i have a couple of interesting things to uh, to talk about uh, your scene you sent me so and uh, the very first in the line is artyom uh, krapivin uh, he's actually uh, <laughs> one of my friends uh, and uh, he joined also to this session and uh, I want to uh, say that uh, these uh, works are quite a bit different. So this one and next one, they are like, um, you know, seems like you've done it. Um, or, or the, oh yeah, <laughs> I think this is reference. I, <laughs> I thought that this is <laughs> this one is also animation, and I and I uh, watched first this one and think um, yeah the, uh, we we always um, made something to uh, fix in this body mechanics, but this one <laughs> is made really good. <clears throat> So I just, uh, yeah, I just uh, didn't recognize that this is a reference also. Uh, anyway, uh, let, let's talk about this, uh, um, uh, this work. Um, I highly recommend you to watch uh, Alessandro Comparota also. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he has this uh, couple of... Um, uh, I think short reviews um, about body mechanics during this parkour uh, on his channel, uh, and uh, he explained uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, body mechanics how characters should act in this um, in, in this situation, especially when they are hanging and when they are jumping and uh, etc. Uh, but you have this uh, nice reference and uh, what I would recommend you to use. Uh, so which approach I would recommend you to use. Uh, oh, <laughs> again, it, happened, it happens again. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, so let, let's, uh, let's see it again. So this is the first. Uh, first uh, work for review and I thought that this one is the refer uh, this is also your animation but <laughs> I, I just recognized that uh, figure out that this is the only refer uh, only reference so anyway uh, about this uh, mm, I, I apologize for not sharing the screen, but I, I didn't show anything uh, for now, so let's get started. Uh, when you have the reference like this, and if we use the reference like, like this, and we start to track the uh, pelvis, for example, uh, we will have no information at all what, uh, where the gravity is, actually. Because we have this camera shake, if we watch, yeah, uh, I I know that this one is uh, uh, not not, not uh, pretty accurate uh, to to track the things like this, but uh, it looks nice. Now, yes, we and also, uh, for example, in this situation, I can see that uh, the character. Uh, uh, after the jump and uh, first uh, contact of uh, his left leg, 
uh, on the wall. Yes, when when the uh, left leg touches the wall, he starts moving down. But here, uh, this is uh, I I can see it in the space in uh, how to say um, in 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 the space where he act. But the camera moves down, and it's uh, when we start track uh the pelvis or whatever hands or uh, whatever we want um the this track uh, trackers uh, wouldn't uh provide uh, correct information so uh what i would recommend uh, first of all yes uh work with the pauses as uh, close as possible if you have this this is the uh really nice reference and you uh, you may use it completely in your animation uh, but uh, how to work and how to track the weight during these uh, jumps so I uh, first uh, uh, I heard about this approach uh, uh, I think couple of years ago but uh, didn't use it because I, I, I didn't work actually with uh, uh, scenes like this uh, with uh, I've never done parkour before so maybe maybe next time maybe after I finish my fighting scene I will start some do something like this because uh, now I uh, I watched the uh, when I uh, when I'm um, watching the references like this uh i also uh you know this uh, de uh de desire appears in my mind to do the things like this so uh anyway uh the approach called the center of mass uh, we we need to track center of mass of the character i cr i created this um, uh sphere here it's, it's just a regular uh, uh, poly, uh, polygonal sphere, uh, just just an object. But I constrained it uh, in a special way. So we have the uh, this weight table, uh, which we uh, um, I don't remember where I uh, get it, but uh, you can find the information I think in the, on the internet uh, how to, uh, how the uh, weight um, spread it to, through all of the body, uh, and uh, this is the sheet how we should constrain this sphere and for. Uh, and what, uh, which ex exactly objects should we use? So we have the head. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, I need to. <laughs> I need to pin this window. Yes, it's now what, what works. So we have the head. We have the chest. We have this uh, um, stomach area. It's of course a uh, abdomen. And um, also we have the elbows, uh, wrists, and knees and ankles here. Uh, so foot, this is the ankle, and the uh, hand, this is the wrist control. And what I've done, I constrained, so I'm selecting the head and after that sphere, and making the constraint, but this is important to... Uh, uh, so we, um, to un select this maintain offset uh, uh, maintain offset uh, I forgot how it calls uh, label so un just un 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 uncheck it and uh, start to constrain to all of these uh, objects so the first one is the head uh, apply after that we go to the chest and apply, constrain and apply and uh, so on and so on and finally we get this constraint with uh, all these uh, body parts constraining and uh, we just 
putting all these uh, values to these uh, body parts through this constraint. And what we get uh, as a result? Uh, we are getting this sphere which reacts on uh, body parts movement. So, and if we want to uh, to track now uh, this uh, uh, real where the center of mass placed, uh, now it's too easy because when I start bending the character or even bending the head, you know my sphere. Ah, uh, it seems like uh, something strange happened here. Uh, let's try to this way. Hmm. Seems like the head have no. Let's try like this. No, no, no. It it, it reacts, but uh, the head is uh, uh, the head has uh, has no weight. Almost has no weight. The same as the uh, hands. So the most important thing uh, things are here. Uh, it's the chest and the body because it has a uh, pretty high weight and also the legs. So if we start moving the legs, the, our uh, um, center of mass start to react and shift uh, wherever it needs, wherever it should be. Uh, so I, I think I explained enough. And I made some... Uh, just right, uh, right before this, uh, right before this session, I put a couple of poses uh, using this reference. Uh, so uh, I made it from 30, 31 until uh, 48, I think. I just create three or four poses here, and what we, what we, what we get here. So now we have the character as uh, as you can see it pretty uh, pretty nice result for 15 minutes I think just because uh, yes of course I have experience how to put the character uh, in pause and I can read reference uh, uh, pretty accurate here and uh, put the characters uh, close to the poses uh, on the reference yeah, uh, and you, you, as animator, you, you should know how body mechanics works and uh, how to put the character in pose. Uh, but uh, I tracked why I got this result, which looks like, uh, like with gravity, uh, according to gravity rules. It's because uh, I tracked uh, with motion trail this sphere. And I, Actually, we can we can uh, fix a little bit. So I'm tracking this sphere uh, arc, not the character, not the pelvis, not the uh, head arc, not the chest arc, just this sphere, and uh, start to uh, clean up uh, this. this animation to get to get this clear bouncing ball arc you know let and I, I I think we can here we can even more accurate to put this Close, close here, and this one, this is here. Uh, I think is if we start polish this uh, this result, we will get more accurate uh, arcs, and get more. Uh, and also, I use this uh, FK uh, FK mod for the legs, and it also not works <laughs> pretty accurate here. But uh, as you can see. Uh, as I tracked this uh, center of mass uh, and uh, 
aligned all the body mechanics uh, according so uh, according to uh, its movement and uh, just just shifted uh, shifted the body um, to get this bouncing ball arc and it start it start looks like real jump you know with all the weights if we use uh, so constraints and uh, uh, I think the uh, the um, hands and legs uh, will uh, stick to the ground or to the uh, walls that would be the better result it's just uh, f for now it's just FK and a couple of poses uh, but I, th I think it, it looks like it should be for now so it's it's quite a good result so uh, please use this approach and it, it really helps and it uh, save uh, it saves uh, <laughs> uh, hours and hours of work and I hope this uh, the, the, this could help you uh, this can help you uh, for for the next time when you will have this this scene like this uh, you will uh, get the better result with this uh, especially for here uh, if we if we look uh, on his pelvis here on hips uh, on his hips yes we will find that it moves directly straight so it, it it's not a jump it's uh, he he moved he moved like uh, on a straight line just uh, on us uh, from the left to the right uh, i think if you if you will add uh, more gravity here through uh, adding these arcs even small it, it, it shouldn't be it, it shouldn't be like this like bouncing ball real bouncing ball but we should uh, should uh, feel that and we should uh, follow this uh, you know uh, body body weight when he jumps he should move uh, he should lift up and after that go uh, go down yeah for this one is okay the, this first uh, first jump is okay but uh, i think also uh, if you increase this uh, uh, gravity arc so for 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 the jump also if he starts lower and after that uh, moves up and after that uh, something like landing you will do some something like landing here on a wall and after that jump here that would works much better than than this result uh, the animation is good but uh, if you work on just the things like this I think you will get better result if you fix this um, arcs you will get the much better result for for almost for free uh, and I think I think uh, I can see the, the <laughs> you know the hands the hands the palms uh, fingers this is my uh, I think the uh, my uh, how, how to say the really important thing which I always spend uh, spending a lot of time to watch and uh, paying attention uh, especially when giving uh, some critique to animators uh, I think here it looks like hand yes uh, it starts like this but from I think this point from even from this pose we have this uh, angle angle and here we have this uh, really the same angle uh, of the uh, of the hand and uh, that picks uh, you know that's uh, m m my eyes uh, my eye how to this? <laughs> i apologize for that uh,
Yeah, caught my cut. Uh, yes, that's easy word, but I, I forgot that. That caught my eye. Uh, uh, that uh, couple of frames, it, it uh, you are shifting the uh, hand, but it has the same angle here. I think that could be better if you will uh, put the hand. I think in first when when you you're trying to uh let me switch my camera why why shouldn't i video capture yes finally <laughs> now you can see me <laughs> today uh uh that is uh <laughs> difficult to uh <laughs> keep myself together uh so when you're uh trying to catch something yes you will especially when you're shifting the hand uh, from this position position to this position you will uh, have to change the angle uh, of this uh, wrist and after that when he moves up it it should it it could turn to this direction so so the first we need to get and after that move the move, move like this and um so yes i think that would be even even more you can put the hand in this position i think so that would be more uh, straight here uh, and that would be the index finger and those fingers you know and something like this and when he will goes to this position i think you can e even more put put this finger like this and this one here uh, Uh, yeah now you can see the result so the first we're uh, catching the uh, tube and after that uh, it, it turns down uh, the same here the same here it, it, it caught also my eye I, I think it should be uh, it should be directed to this position first after that I know <laughs> I know that you it seems like you <laughs> you was cheating and uh, um, uh, I also I know what, what <laughs> uh, how, uh, how it uh so it takes a lot of uh, time uh to do all these small things when you when especially when you have constraints or something like this yes and you need to uh for for real body mechanics you need to uh, uh to fix the hand according to its position uh, according to body position body mechanics uh how body mechanics works in this position but now we we can see that uh, the hand after the contact first contact it just stuck and and uh, didn't didn't move for during all this time uh-huh uh, i think during this jump Uh, he he just like uh, uh, seems like he has the uh, pretty linear and contact spacing here. I think we we need to uh, to slow down him here and move down a little bit to. Uh, charge the energy to to the body and after that jump for uh with more uh, wider spacing here 
And the same, I, I, I think here we need to, uh, I, I, I think we can move him even, lift him even more down and that would add more contrast to this action, yes, uh, to, to, the, to this jump. Uh, I seems like something wrong with this hand. Seems like some some noisy movement during this jump. I think this part is okay. It always uh, difficult to <laughs> and it seems like uh, I think I think he will have only uh, after this touch he he can you know run more forward here something like this and uh, also what what about the hands i don't understand why they're uh, opened like this like he's going to hack someone and uh, this step would be somewhere here, you know. So that would be more wider jump. And after that, he will also move. Uh, you know, uh, he, he will jump from this position, I think. And also this, uh, this uh, quite strange mechanics happening here. So... Uh, he moved a couple of frames, you know, with this direction and then immediately moves, started move, uh, started bend forward. And after that, uh, <laughs> also stuck in this, in this angle. So I, I, I think, yes, I, I think we need to uh you can work more on this body mechanic because this scene is pretty well uh pretty uh, uh the pretty good choreography but uh if you will work uh more precisely with this uh, all this gravity stuff and posing uh that would be i i think the good uh, so we, uh, you can do the the really good scene because the it it almost done. You have the nice character, you have the nice nice environment. Environment. You need to just uh, work on on weight a little bit. And I think this last um, last fall um, will also. need to work with gravity here uh, yes it in it has his speed increases to uh, increase down but I think uh, if we add more contrast here, so like anime animate animated character that that would works a little better it's ju just a subtle thing but seems like he is quite linear here he has quite linear movement um anyway i i think uh it is okay yes uh if if you uh, try to copy these hands, that would work, I think, better. So not not just open the hands and uh, after landing, but uh, if if he uh, will make this uh, move move down with the hand, I I think that would works better. Uh, that's it. Uh, Really nice job, really, uh, really good scene, and uh, um, thank you for sharing it.
and hope uh, these notes will help you uh, some, somehow. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the next one in the line is uh, oh yeah I, I, I hope I, I will pronounce it correctly uh, Yashwanth Yashwanth I, I hope Yashwanth uh, are you here or no <laughs> Okay, anyway, let, let, let's get started. Thank you for sharing. Um, thank you for sharing dialogue because I, I uh, not always uh, it's rec recognizable uh, for, for me, uh, but now I can understand uh, it clear and uh, that's, but in this case, even if you, uh, if you wouldn't said it, uh, I think I would uh, I would recognize it uh, well because it's not not difficult and pr with really good pronunciation here. Uh, let's see no, the scene. Don't first. mess with me. These are the happiest times of my life. All right. Sure. I'm so happy. I'm the happiest. I'm happy. You know what, B? Don't mess with me. These are the happiest times of my mm -hmm. life. All right. Sure. I'm so happy. I'm the happiest. Okay, I hope you can see this sound. Seems like you should see the sound uh, of the of uh, the animation. Um, uh, so let's get started. Uh, what? Uh, unfortunately, uh, you didn't uh, share any information about you. Uh, what? Uh, Mm, are you beginner or this student scene or your experience animator so that's uh, uh, anyway let, let's let's talk about what I'm seeing here and what uh, what could be better to fix in this case um, general note about the posing so you you need to uh, improve a little bit uh, your body mechanics uh, in general uh, because uh, some sometimes uh, there are a couple of things I, I think here uh, when he is taking for example this bottle I can see I can see that all the body uh, including this um, including his uh, pelvis and hips and legs are moving forward with this hand but if you uh, if you try to repeat it in real life with your body you will find that your uh, hips uh, will moves backward so, so opposite direction with the hand uh, that happens because uh, because of the center of mass yes and uh, when you're moving when you're trying to uh, take something uh, you should shift the weight in uh, opposite way because uh, he is not only using his hand, he is also using his whole torso and butt and chest and that has a uh, quite big weight and he need to shift the rest of the weight with his legs backward. So this is the uh, really first note. When, when you are animating the character, if, you, if uh, even we uh, couldn't see his uh, legs but it doesn't uh, mean that we uh, that the we will not feel that so we need to animate the character even if he is sitting uh, you know even if we uh, seeing only his head we should to animate whole whole the body 
because the audience will will feel that uh, will will feel that uh, something wrong downstairs happening uh, so with, with these hidden uh, body parts especially if if he's standing on the legs it should be done uh, pretty clear here uh, let's continue watching so uh, i want to uh, talk about the um, let, let me check this word Yeah. Uh, strengthening, strengthening of action. So we need to increase the action here, and uh, we need to develop his gesture and uh, develop the his feelings during the di dialogue because uh, uh, he is raising his voice to the end of this scene. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes, and uh, now, now, uh, uh, the the second general thing I cannot feel this uh, uh, this um, subtext in his uh, body. Uh, I I can see the subtext in his body mechanics, but but I cannot see it in his facial expressions because. He is saying that he is happy, but he isn't happy because those uh, second guys trying to, you know, trying to um, do something uh, with him and trying to uh, participate in his life and, uh, you know, to, to maybe direct him uh, in wrong direction or something like this. Uh, and uh, now, uh, during all this second part of the scene, he yes, I, I can see that he uh, his brows changing the, its position, but you know it he is so sweet, especially in this uh, last pause. Uh, that's because of uh, his eyes. So let let's uh, first get get started from the very beginning. So this is general things. The face. <clears throat> so we need to work more uh, precisely with this with his facial expressions. It should works um, pretty clear. And also we need to, uh, we need to fix uh, his uh, weight shifts during his acting. Uh, I would recommend you to work on the very first pause and we can even uh, let, let me copy it uh, <laughs> I, I, I made a couple of notes I, I think uh, this pause is uh, wouldn't work well here so we just just delete it and we will use the this pause from the very beginning so as you can see I added some uh, um, uh, so I, I, I broke the symmetry of his body i can see that you uh, you also tried to broke uh, to break it up uh, this uh, i can see this shoulder um, uh, bend it more down than the left shoulder bend it more down uh, than uh, right one and also this uh, different uh, the wrists and hands have different uh, position mm, and his this uh, you know uh, facial expressions also uh, a little smash so it's not not straight completely straight but there are a lot of uh, you know a lot of lines uh, during this uh, during their position through all of their position which shows us that so we uh, the audience always the audience and uh, we uh, always uh, trying to fit uh, the so uh, the feed the character to uh, frame direction and if we have some straight lines some vertical or horizontal straight lines 
uh, it's catching our eyes all the time. And uh, uh, as, as I always saying, um, the only difference between the professionals and the audience that the professionals can explain what what is wrong with the scene and what what is wrong with body mechanics but the audience can feel that uh, in the same way that the professionals but the audience couldn't couldn't explain that the, this is the only uh, the only thing which different between the audience in the theater and uh, the professionals who creates the animation so that's because uh, <clears throat> that's why it's uh, really important to uh, understand a couple of uh, things like this. So if, if you watch it on your mobile phone, uh, you can see that this line is completely straight. And also in additional, yes, way, the, those lines, yes, that uh, it, it has some movement here, but in general we have a uh, couple of straight lines so now the character is completely straight in in this small <clears throat> thumbnail uh, i would recommend you to check the po the poses the key poses special key poses uh, using this approach so just small uh, just watch this small version of your uh, animation and you will see it uh, immediately if the if something uh, goes wrong here um, so i drew uh, this very very first pause and you can see how it works now now, now it works uh, a little better and uh, um, i would recommend you to work on the this the general acting and try to stre strengthening the acting uh, through all of the so we need to develop the acting uh, through all of this scene so he, he should st he may start almost not moving not doing this uh, moving backward and um, uh, you, you know uh, making big gestures so it also will add some contrast to your animation uh, to your posing so he will start in subtle way in subtle movements with in his body but uh, at the very end he will have this you know this strong action strong big gesture gestures and acting uh, now if we watch it uh, all all of this uh, i think three quarter uh three quarter or uh two thirds of this scene uh he moves back back and forward and uh, you know he changes the poses uh in this way and the opposite way and it it he act uh at the same attitude i think here all of uh, during all of this scene and um if we start from this position let, let me copy it seems like they have this option now uh and let me check the dialogue dialogue you know what b don't mess with me These are... don't mess. so let's yeah let, let would uh, this would be key yes and this we will copy i think in this base cage and this we will redraw a little bit so in the very beginning he will he will do his stuff i i don't uh, i don't actually get uh, i didn't get what he is doing here uh, but he will do it maybe that's yeah that's too strong maybe something like this 
face and his eyes will look down following what he is doing now so something like this and after that he will continue doing this stuff or maybe you know uh, maybe he can change this position uh, uh, with with this hand something like this so you know B uh, and after that uh, even more even continuing in this position he will uh, take uh, take out this hand and will do oh let me let me copy it also uh, page I ju just paste and uh, oh no 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 <laughs> we need to copy to no 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 draw again this uh, opposite hand paste and after that use this I think and all this action will happen uh, at the same you know uh, in the same maybe maybe this uh, in this position he should move a little uh, shift his body uh, to this position and maybe uh, 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 low down this maybe change arc a little bit but here we we may increase this this pose towards this guy uh, and uh, uh, I think this gesture with this in this index finger uh, it, it is uh, it is about the my my inner uh, feelings uh, I'm not sure that uh, this is the best gesture for this uh, phrase. Uh, I, I think he will, he may use. Don't mess with me. These are the happiest times of my life. All right. Sure. I'm so happy. I'm the happiest. maybe he he can use gestures like gesture like this don't mess with me uh, just just stop stop me or or maybe i i'm not sure so we can we can uh, we can uh, try to find something or maybe use this gesture which i drew before And uh, this more uh, don't mess, uh, uh, or or maybe yes, uh, you know this. Mm. Oh, an another gesture we can try, you know, something like this. I I, I just will copy and paste it in in this um, place. That's nice option. Uh, I think he can use this the gestures like the gesture like this. Yes, it, it, it also with uh, index finger, but something like this, you know. So don't touch me. It it, it also works, I think. Uh, so after this position, it, it, it also shows that stop, stop thinking, uh, stop touching me. <laughs> and goes. These are the happiest times of my And after that, uh, so here is a little tension in his body. Uh, you know, uh, he is a little stressed. And after that, for, uh, for a moment, he is relaxing. He he should relax his. Uh, he may relax his hands, I think, and do this stuff also. Get this bottle. These are the happiest times of my life. Okay. 
It's the happiest time. And I think we need to we need to hold him. We need, this is the happiest time of my life. And of course, this is the silhouette. Welcome to amazing animation world. So we need to use some uh, better silhouette stuff here. This hand is here and I, I think this hand should go. Uh, let me let me check this. Try try to draw. Yeah, I, I think that would wear uh, that would works better. So we need to to put on silhouette his his hands here. This is the happiest time of my life, and he he may act in this um, in this uh, pose all this phrase. And that, uh, this is the happiest time of my life. And after that, get this uh, uh, bottle. This is the happiest time of my life. And after that, uh, just just hold. Uh, he he shouldn't. He, he may know. So it's, uh, in my opinion, that would be better if we, he will not uh, do a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of noisy things. I, I know about the secondary reaction. This is the, uh, actually it works now. Now it works. But uh, I think if we hold him uh, and he, he can... Uh, uh, darts with his eyes. This is he is thinking uh, about his the happiest uh, time of his life now. And after that, put this point. You know. All right. All right. All right. And uh, what about facial expressions? I think we, uh, I don't know actually what the character, um, what uh, the character allows you to do here, but I think, I think this is uh, also connected, related to the last pose. Uh, so here, uh, here he should be uh, really angry and I think I'll try to, uh, we do some sketch here. Uh, I'll try to draw it even bigger. So and he he can direct it. I think in this way. Yeah, and if you use positions like this. And use these brows. I think I <laughs> I drew it, drawing it. So he he uh, need to uh, to be angry. We need to use this. I try to explain what I what I'm trying to do. We need to use this cliche. When he have these uh, eyes, yes, under uh, right under the brows, so we need to to add the same feeling uh, to your facial expressions here. So let 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 me try. I think the brows would be somewhere here, and the eyes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not an artist. I apologize for that, but I'm trying to try to do my best. 
Oh, Stephanie, hello. Yeah, uh, uh, mm, mm, that's not the purpose to draw it, uh, you know, <laughs> to draw it in, in this pretty. Uh, yeah, but, 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 but you now feel that he is angry <laughs> i was trying uh, because uh, because when you when you uh, to get this result uh to uh, to get this result this the uh, this cliche works you need to uh, if the character not allows you to uh put his brows on you know to sh shift his brows on his cheeks i think it's it, it, it also have, uh, uh, all the character have some um um some 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 restrictions not restrictions uh, okay, let it would be restrictions. So not not allowing that just use these in the big uh, attitudes, I think. Uh, and um, to get this result, we need to move our. Uh, you 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 can see it, but I shouldn't forget the <laughs> switch back camera. So if if I watch on you like this, yeah, now you can see that uh, I'm angry. But if I look uh, look on you like this. You know, uh, I, I need to move my head, um, head down and watch you under my uh, brows. That will increase, that would, uh, you know, uh, completely increase this emotion here. So if you, if you need to, you shouldn't, uh, uh, the character shouldn't be straight, uh, directed to the, uh, to the opposite character. But you can use uh, you can sh you can use some uh, expressions like this or like this. So move his hand, mm, uh, twist his hand or bend his head uh, down and uh, to this side a little bit, and it also would work better now. And uh, let's get back to. <laughs> yes, I'm doing well, Stephanie. Uh, hope you're doing well too. <laughs> Haven't seen you for ages because I, I have a lot of uh, work now and uh, to do a lot of stuff here. Let me check. Right, and yes, to uh, to put this point right when he's uh, when his eyes uh, asking something. I, I I think we should also increase this uh, this emotion here. Okay, or uh, he is asking. Okay. I think it's uh, it is more about the character here. So his uh, eyes of this character, uh, I think, placed in uh, some strange place <laughs> on his face uh, because it's difficult to put the brows here and get the. Uh, uh, right emotion yeah now you 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 can see how it works and also i don't um uh, it is uh, about my uh, uh relationships with the character i don't like the characters who which has this line here so when, when when they have these uh, lines like this of the eyes and after that somewhere here brows it is difficult to get especially in some rigs it's difficult to get the shape like this when the character uh, watching this way 
So uh, when the model has these, uh, the eyes like this and has no uh, options to do this, uh, you, you know, to, to move uh, this side of the uh, eye, um, yes, eyelid, that is difficult to work with. So I, I think this here is also would be better to pull the eye. You can see now, yes, this emotion, how it works now. I hope. <laughs> So he should uh, he should express himself more, uh, you know, more um, uh, exaggerated here. It, it should work. I am happy, and uh, from this emotion, yeah, he he can change that uh, in in this way. I'm happy. And uh, I think this uh, uh, this emotion tells us tells the audience that she he is actually not actually ha happy. So the first changes it just regular. I am happy, and uh, I also. Uh, I, I think it would be better if you if you use this uh, little saddle you know symmetrical position uh, of his brows and in the second pose uh, you know he is like like um, Mm, sad or um, let me check uncertain yes here uncertain that he is saying but he is uh, he is he knows that he is happy and I think from this point, when he when he said this, just okay. And after that, he he can use this first uh, your emotion. I am happy. I and and after that, uh, start to moves to this uh, very end. You know, angry emotion. <laughs> it's so funny, so funny drawings. Yeah, so don't use this emotion, but use the some uh, start to increase this anger. Oh, she is saying that he is happy, but he is not happy because this this guy is trying to. Oh yeah, I see why why, why it's happened. Uh, I think this is a lot of uh, geometry here. I hope that he has this character has the controls that you can use uh, to to move a little up is I am happy and uh, also for better silhouette I think this hand is okay but this I I think you can turn it more like this you know to show this uh, uh, this side of his palm and also uh, it seems like his hips uh, directed to this way to camera but he moves to towards those character I think that could be better if you will work more 
on shift weights and also he he should turn and move his uh, back if he bending forward his hips and his pelvis should move a little back so in the opposite direction i told you before about that and this the the very end position should be the strongest and also the, uh, I, I think this pose is a little strange here um, he's trying to show that he is uh, you know, I, I think we, we use this uh, gesture when we are trying to show that we are um, what, what, in what situation. So it's where, where you, when you are showing that you are, yes, you are finally, you are finally done it, you know, something like this. But in this case, uh, yeah, it looks good. It, it works good with uh, the uh, for the contrast between the uh, between the all these poses. But I think and all these all three times he's doing these uh, gestures with both of the hands. I think. Uh, what, what what we can use here it's really I'm happy yes and he is open to this character I'm happy maybe he can put you know uh, let, let's try it's just just a try maybe he can put this hand with this bottle you know, uh, on a table. And this, let's just try. Uh, maybe I, I, I should, oh, okay, you have the recording, so I, I can just erase these drawings. maybe some some like when the palm is up but he's using the fingers like this and the bottle is staying here and after that he is he doing this like this gesture so I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. <laughs> Something like this. Uh, so just just my opinion, just a couple of time, a uh, couple of things I want to show you. And I think uh, the lip sync. I'm so happy. I'm the happiest. I'm happy. Uh, and lip sync. I think uh, we should move this uh, final pause uh, for three frames before. So, and he should say this happy. Let, let me draw it again. I'll try again, but I'm not sure that I, I'm good enough in my drawings. Oh, yeah. So we need to read. Hmm. 
this happy. <laughs> so this happy we need to read clear this a sound because it's really important in this acting uh, in, in this uh, in this last pause because now when he is pronouncing this a sound during movement through the movement to this final position i think it's it disappears so in happy you know on this a we need to read it clear these facial expressions anger this contrast this compressed brows with eyes and this big mouth uh, it, it should be like a shooting it should shoot uh, you know uh, in the audience i think i think it's okay uh, it's uh, it's okay for 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 now uh, thank you very much for sharing your uh, work and hope uh, my notes make a sense and uh, helps you to work in uh, on your next or this uh, or even uh, polish some things in this scene uh, thank you and uh, moving forward reconnect and the next one is pranav pranav with this uh, also amazing shot with body mechanics i i, I think this animation uh, anime school yes the character char anime school character and you also have uh this uh reference stuff Yeah, hello, hello. Uh, are you here? You are here. That's nice. Uh, you know, I uh, what I what I felt uh, before I, I uh, watched your reference, and this is the very for, uh, first frame. And when when I started to play the animation, uh, it strange uh, feelings feeling uh, uh, appeared in my mind that why he is angry actually i know i know that this is um, uh, you know this is the always uh, uh, difficult choice uh, what to show and uh, we need to uh, cut some important things because of we have no time to finish this scene especially when we're studying but uh, this is very uh, very important to to move the audience through these feelings because when i uh, afterwards watched your uh, reference yes and this amazing body uh, uh, you know acting in your body when you're waiting and trying to press the button and wait in the elevator and yes uh i i love this uh, you know this re reaction this is so natural ah yes i'm tired where where is the elevator is this uh let, let me draw it um uh, which i think I think yes we, 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 we should use this <laughs> the lines like this you know yeah you are so tired and also shoulders are here and also heading heading uh, something like this yeah this is so so nice you you should definitely use it in your scene 
if you if you decide to uh, re, uh, react it or re, reanimate it, uh, I think this this is really important pause which you you wish you, you should use because it's so life it, it's so natural and uh, you know uh, so many times we are using the same pose. <sighs> Uh, you, you, yeah, yes, <laughs> you should use it, and uh, that's why uh, the the complete story in your body acting here in in the reference. So when I'm watching the reference, I understand it completely what happened. So the first you are showing that you are watching on your uh, uh, watching on your watches. <laughs> yes, it's like uh, uh, training, training your pronunciation, uh, watching your watches, uh, and uh, looking or looking, yes, <laughs> looking on your watches, um, and we understand that you are hurry, you are hurry, and you are uh, in front of the elevator, and you are hurry, and it's really important to get into it as fast as you can yes and uh, now it works for me really good and how, how many seconds you are here mm. quite long and here it's only it's almost the same Uh, you know, I think uh, everything is okay with this part. You just can move the animation, uh, so it it's quite good. We we can uh, I, I I can also uh, give you some notes about this part. But uh, the really important thing that we should uh, we should direct the audience in right way from the very beginning because when I. Uh, see this scene like this. So, so just imagine that you are the uh, um, employer, and you got this, uh, uh, or or just a regular animator or guy on uh, LinkedIn or uh, whatever, uh, and you got this, uh, and you were just uh, bumped on this scene, and you start watching it, and you are appear in the situation when the character already angry and we yes we feel that we see that with his facial expressions but we cannot understand why he is angry in your reference you show that but here is not uh, uh, I think we, we need to clarify so first he should stay like with uh, especially uh, I can I can predict that, uh, uh, so I, I, I can just uh, think about it, uh, that you was going to follow your uh, reference, but you hadn't time, you hadn't enough time to finish it. Because using this um, bag, that is also works pretty well here. So it add this uh, natural th things and, uh, you know, uh, it works more, so it gives more life to the character uh, with, uh, using this bag. But maybe you have no enough time and shouldn't. Maybe even you just cut this scene uh, from from some some point. But this is just my my thing, uh, my thoughts. Mm. based on the notes of my instructor which mentioned removing that in the shot mm. uh, that's you know this is the uh, this is the also uh, difficult point 
So when you're, uh, when you're studying, you should follow the only one uh, teacher. So you shouldn't show it uh, to uh, another teachers or mentors uh, who will direct you in, 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 you know, in different um, angles. Yeah, in different uh, diff different ways, but uh, I I think I expl I explained enough now why my uh, why I have this opinion. Uh, so uh, it and that that appears uh, right from the very beginning of this shot. So I see that he is angry, and yes, I can. Mm, I can imagine that he is angry that because he is waiting for a long time for, for this elevator. But uh, in your uh, body acting, especially this, I, I love this stuff, you know. <sighs> Where it is. It's so, <laughs> it's so alive. Uh, if you, uh, I think it's as, uh, it, uh, as important as the rest of the uh, of this uh, cartoony uh, acting stuff you know to change the change the mood and uh, show that why he is he be become this so angry uh, I can mm, uh, so if you decide anyway to, to, to move this, uh, uh, to change this first part, I can recommend you to maybe cut some stuff from here. I, I think you can, you can remove, I think you can start from here and directly move to here. So, uh, and uh, cut all this middle part. Uh, yeah, if you have no time to finish or, or uh, it's actually pretty long. You know, when you, when you should show the uh, this scene to the uh, especially in your reel with the rest and I'm done with my term and looking to make this version I can add the beginning maybe this okay okay uh, so uh, anyway uh, if you if you have to put this scene all the all this scene to your reel it shouldn't be uh, so long, uh, you know, uh, you should cut it from this position, I think. Um, but but um, the story is not works without this. Or, or just from this position, if you want to show your cartoony stuff. Uh, but if you cut this part, when he's trying to move like this and go directly from this pose to this one I think it also will works well and um, uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, body mechanics and small stuff which I like mostly like uh, <laughs> so, or, or we can use yes that, that I think that's much better Uh, I think that could be better if you put some buttons here, which uh, audience will recognize that uh, that this is actually what what she is pressing because um, some elevators has only one button. Yes, here, but he is pressing uh, the button uh, lower button, I think. He is going downstairs. Yes, he is going downstairs because when the doors are uh, opening, uh, he 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 falling down. Uh, 
yes. But uh, that would work better if you show the audience clear that there are two buttons and he's pressing the lower one. It's just like uh, uh, visual storytelling works. So uh, some, th some things should be done more accurate. And uh, to this, uh, I think in this point, he is really angry and he should, you know, act more, more like sh his shoulders should be like this. So he is also, uh, he is already, you know, and uh, I, I think his fingers should be in the feast here. I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> let me, let me use more mm, thinner marker. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, he he's using like you know like he's concentra concentrated all the energy uh, in this in this button. I think that would works better, and uh, seems to me like. His knee, his this knee directed in the camera, but it's it's a little bit wrong because his uh, uh, foot directed this way. So I I think in this uh, in this case we should see a knee, which should be directed this way. And even more, we can try, we can try in this position, try to find more straight pose for his hand, I think. And also, he is watching where he is watching now. If we put his head down, And maybe show it with his mouth here, mm, you know, some expression. Uh, is he has? Yeah, he has mouth. Mm. Uh, what is going on here? Yeah, uh, because because this pose, mm, uh, it looks, uh, you know, it looks not not exact. Uh, it not shows that he's concentrated on he on this uh, on this button. So you need to, you know, you know, we need to show that he's pressing and he's uh, starting to be angry, uh, and it still not uh, not goes, not not, not going here. And after that, when he start moving, I think we should have some uh, some anticipation first, anticipation backward. Where well, it, it it should be small, I think, or even or even uh, we 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 can use something like you know uh, uh, this this way. So small movement, not not so big like a uh, like a true, but not only not only just he's pressing and after that directly uh, goes to the doors. So so I think he he sh she should move backs and after that go goes forward. 
because this action is pretty good. I'm not sure about the hands. Also, uh, uh, I think in in this direction it, it should be. We should use only our fingers here, and the palm would be some li some like this. And after that, after this position, yeah, it become more straight, I think, here. And that, uh, that should be like a and even more this hand also. Now you can see the difference. So it should it should be uh, it should it should works like a strings. You know it should be uh, should stretch in uh, uh, like your legs in um, uh, straight line. And all these hands and all the lines should work on this, uh, on this uh, pose. And also, what I uh, what I noticed, as you know, uh, I never thought it. buttons. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know, we have two uh, two parts of our spine which are bending the most. This is the neck. After that, we have this uh, ribs. Yes, uh, this is the solid con construction. And after that, our lower back. And after that, our uh, uh, rest <laughs> rest of part of our body so and this area and this area uh, are uh, the most um, you know uh, bendable or um, having the uh, really big attitude when he's when it moves that's why we having the problems with our back especially in uh, uh, when we are become older and older we have the problems here because this is the most uh, movable parts of uh, our spine and uh, why I'm drawing and why, why I'm saying you about this uh, all the bending so we shouldn't uh, now I can see I, I can see that you bend the character here and here he is straight, but uh, let me erase a little this stuff. Uh, if we let, let's try to do it in in a little different way. So we will put the hips here. After that, bend the spine, and this line will go here. And now you can see how it works. So we, we should follow the body mechanics. Even if we work uh, uh, in cartoony style and we can break the characters uh, uh, in the ways that we are uh, can only imagine but we should follow the body mechanics rules so if the real spine uh, has this uh, place where he he bending most you you should use you should apply the same rules to your cartoony character. 
yes that uh, a lot of exceptions uh, when the characters especially when they moves move moving fast uh, but uh, but in general in general uh, you, you you should follow this these rules and after that here is the same we can use the hips uh, here after that bend this spine and straight it yeah and you can see even in these lines even in these lines in these construction lines it works a little bit differently compared with with this character because you abandoned the character uh, in the in this uh, in the you banded the spine in a little bit wrong place that why this this uh, you know and, and also uh, everything should works like you know should bend it like strings here And of course the head should be here. So that's how it works. That's how spine works. Uh, I think this uh, crossing the geometry. It all, <laughs> you know, it uh, is always you you couldn't finish your animation you, you can just stop it uh, but the the uh, the important things we should follow the important things uh, such as i explained with uh, body mechanics how how it works in real life but this uh, i i think that those crossing and penetrations uh, are not important at all I think uh -huh. uh, what I can say about Uh, what, what I can say about the shakes, about these shakes. Uh, yes, I, I, I can see that you added this shake. I, I hope you use this, um, uh, the animation layers in Maya uh, to add in these shakes, because uh, what I would recommend about the shakes, what, what we know about this, uh, this uh, kind of stuff. So if I try to... Um, uh, to how to say in a patch um, I know this word but I a little tired uh, strain yeah if you try to strain your muscles and uh, you try it yourself uh, after, after or right now with me so if you try uh, to strain it as much as you can now, right now, and try to fix it and hold it for a couple of seconds, you will notice how it works. So it's, it should start, it, it, it starts shaking a little. And after that, if you continue, it will start to shake more and after that it will start you know shakes more and more and more and more and more and uh, until you will relax it uh, and that how the how shakes uh, uh, work uh, so the first he should start you know from uh, pretty subtle movements and after that you're increasing, 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 and right before he uh, he relax or uh, moves to another position, it should be maximum. I, I think a couple four or 
three, uh, four or five frames th that will have the mm, maximum attitude and uh, uh, frame by frame shake. So start. Uh, it like uh, you know, like explosions should be, and you also not not just sh shake the character. Uh, it it should be based also uh, on real life how it works here and try to do it uh, with uh, anything you want the character when the character uh, you know have uh, having a long anticipation uh, so it's compressing and after that start shaking and after that right before the jump we should shake it as much as possible and after that just explode the this position um anyway let's continue here i think in this part when he's uh going here is everything um i know this rule uh, someone of uh, old uh, classical animators taught me that all the turns should be done on the ground so when the character jumps and he should turns uh, 180 degree it should be done or at the beginning of the jump or at the very end so he jumped first and when he touched the ground only in this point he start turn turn around uh, it's uh, it it works the same way like uh, we shouldn't use the emotions uh, during the movement so you need to change the emotion first and after that move the character or you should uh, uh, you should uh, move the character and after that change the emotion to show the audience clear what what we 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 are doing here. So I think in this way he should uh, he should fly to this pose. I think more even forward and start. You know only start turn the head and uh, his leg here and after that right uh, right before the landing so, um, it also you know it also adds some texture to the movement right now uh, you have this uh, amazing timing here, so everything works okay. This uh, uh, holding in uh, upper point, but it would add some uh, some texture to the movement uh, because uh, right now he is just he is just turning and landing. But he if he jump and after that during the land. Uh, move some uh, so it's like uh, the in the first part he will move uh, slowly and almost not having the changes but during the landing he will twist around and uh, I think you you should try to experiment with this uh, kind of stuff but uh, I'm sure that would that it should works better and also after landing I think he moves a lot. He, I, I think he should land and just move, just do one step backward and stop, stop and maybe uh, he should have uh, some uh, heavy breath uh, in in this situation, but not 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 do, not walk around so much, and that would. Uh, uh, it should add uh, more clear and simple uh, perception of this action. So he landed, maybe do some uh, a couple of uh, 
the breathing and after that goes to the anticipation and go uh, to the elevator because now a lot of movement here after landing a lot of movement in his start uh, run run forward <laughs> okay uh, and then this let me check this uh, I don't know why he is looking in the camera here. You know what the very I'm watching you <laughs> like I like saying to the audience, I'm watching you. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm trying to uh, escape. I think everything should work directly to the point which he is trying to get here not not just uh, uh, just turn him he, this way I, I think it is not important to see his face here because everything works in the, the everyone already knows during this 230 frames that he is going to uh, uh, to appear in this elevator. I think some kind of to this stuff like, you know, uh, so maybe. Oh, what is... Ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I think if you add some to this stuff, these lines, uh, that would work <laughs> even more, I think, more. No, this is too much. <laughs> yeah, that, that would under, underline this. Mm, and uh, try to follow uh, clear this uh parts of the body so it is not important uh, uh not not important what uh, the character could do but this is really important what <laughs> what you uh, where you directing the audience let me draw the uh, opposite leg also this one uh, yes, no, yeah, in this case, I, I, I think. Do something like this and like this. Yeah, no, not just uh, just uh, uh, changing the direction where, 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 where you want what, what you should uh, the eye should follow the exact way where the uh, limbs are following also. Uh, and I think it, it, it would add more contrast if you will uh, start, you know, more with the hand, uh, more with the head first. And after that, I'll try to, I'll try to draw it so and those parts are far still uh you know these hands should start from here to here and after that the head will move around here and the hands are still 
over there so close to the body like like you know like uh, ribbon or some kind like this yeah it's like 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 he he's still stuck here you know and just starting to uh, piece by piece <laughs> tearing off and then follow down i i think this character could do that um i think that's it for for now and thank you for sharing your work this amazing uh, and also your amazing references especially for this position yeah <laughs> i love that much um this pose uh good luck with your steam and uh, yeah maybe see you see you around and see you next time uh, so and the last participant here is sergey abra uh abgarov uh i hope yes sergey abgarov uh, and he's uh, this amazing girl Jump. Um, as, <laughs> Sergey, as I can see, I am not the first <laughs> who was here and who is uh, who is giving you a notes. And uh, it is uh, really let me. Hmm, seems like I cannot download it. Uh, I don't want to uh, let, let, let me try to download it actually first and open with blender I think I could give you and just start blender dun, 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 dun. Yes, and I, I'm not sure that I that I remember where my somewhere I had this blend. Oh yes, I see. Uh, and uh, I need to open this thing. Open. Oh notes, yes it I has this one. And get this jump from the downloads. I think this one I can delete and just object mode and change the Change this mm. Yeah, that's movie. Why movie? But why you are not moving? Or it's doesn't movie. Yes, seems like it is movie. <laughs> and uh, I need to check frame rate properties. Seems like it's for game. Yes, it's thirty FPS. I don't understand why. Oh yeah, I see. I, I, I need to add some stuff here. Uh, 
I think 83 or 80 would be enough and change the frame rate to 30 FPS. I think that's enough, yeah. Oh, home, home, go home. So yeah, and now I can feel free and <laughs> just just draw what whatever you want, whatever I, whatever I want. And this we should start to first frame. May interesting use this. Okay, draw mod. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not edit mod. I need draw mod stroke. I need stroke and draw mod. Yes. So now I am ready. Fine. Finally, I am ready. Ready to. So first of all, the feeling of uh, this shot uh, is uh, quite good because you have the the you got the sense of timing here. You know, I feel all the weight uh, in the, in right direction here, and that's the really important thing because you know sometimes you sh you even uh, can break the rules you can break the poses but uh these feelings this the, the those right feelings appear uh when you're uh, when you have a good timing not pausing you you can move uh, you, you the character uh could have some penetrations or crossings, especially in game development. That's the uh, common thing uh, when there are a lot of stuff penetrates to each other and crossing with each other. But uh, the right feeling of the timing, it, that's uh, really uh, so have the uh, more important than than anything and also you have the uh, she has the rhythm so i love this uh i love this uh, body uh hold for a couple of frames but this how it calls i don't know even i know in in russian Great. Scythe on stone. Scythe, scythe. So it 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 of course let me. Let, let me draw it here uh, so it calls uh where is my why shouldn't why couldn't you draw let's draw some draw mod yeah what's wrong uh error active layer locked or hidden ah oh, yeah i see uh. Lines. Why are you hitting? Oh yeah, now no, it works. And also we should change the color. Uh, I think yellow one would be would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it calls scythe. As probably you know, because you have this model and uh, this uh, this stuff which the death 
used to get the people to the hell <laughs> called site 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 yeah okay uh and uh yeah when he is uh holding in the upper point and this site uh continue moves and after that uh she has this in in uh, she increases all the movement down that would works uh, th that is work uh that works pretty well here but from the very beginning there is a lot of stuff which uh, uh you you should pay attention for for example yeah uh if you need to move up the leg or change the leg position first you need to shift the weight the body weight so uh first your body should go this direction and only after that you will able and i i think even with all this stuff so we are shifting the weight on this leg and after that you will be able to uh, tear off the opposite leg here maybe not so may, maybe not so strong as i uh, as i draw in it but uh, you need to uh, if you just uh, uh, just having you know uh, some subtle movement in this leg like you have like like she has you need just a little move move or shift the weight on the opposite leg and turn the her right leg as as he as he do and after that moves backward And also, uh, you know, uh, when we are when we are following uh, this way, so she's uh, she she has a quite big movement this way, and uh, I'm waiting that she will jump this direction. You know, after this anticipation. I uh, I will uh, so I'm waiting that he will fly down uh, fly up here. But uh, in your case, he he star he jumps up just up after this position he just jumps up here. It looks a little strange, so maybe you need to change this pose and. Uh, uh, add this feeling that he's he moves uh, with this arc so so uh, between this point and upper point i think in uh, somewhere in the middle uh, in perspective uh, it should be this uh, you know uh, low uh, lower point but uh, in your case Yes, you have the let me let me delete this going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, also uh, during this acting, uh, all the body moves at the same time so you need to shift the weight after that turn the leg and after that start moving i think with the chest and uh, with the uh, pelvis and hips first and after that body so the pelvis and uh, pelvis should start moving first hold the body and after that uh, the chest and the head just following uh, should follow the Mm. you have a quite 
fast movement here uh, so I think uh, it uh, it should works uh, just just do it frame by frame so the uh, hips are moves first and after that chest and head frame by frame that should work that, that should work better I think this landing works pretty well but uh, we also can if your legs was here I think I think that could be great if you will continue until uh, landing follow the same rule and after that Here, I think we can use pose like this and here close to this and the leg here. Maybe some stretch and after that go to this pose. So let me let me check. Yeah, I, I think that will work more, more softly and uh, more comfortable for I. Because, you know, uh, during the really fast movement, you can, uh, you can move the character really fast. But it should uh, be done pretty accurate. So you can move the character even for even for my uh, one frame. Uh, I think it works more. But we should show the audience exactly how it moves. We should draw all this stuff and if he starts stops mm -hmm. so let me show you yes you you uh, the character can have uh, this fast movement but with all these lines we need to direct the audiences uh, you know to provide this uh, some kind of stuff with uh, imitating this motion blur to uh, let the audience uh, to let the movement appear appear more soft I think try to explain but as I can uh, the same here mm, I think if you try to stand up like this uh, you will fall down because it, it is impossible to just lift up from this position I think also she should uh, shift the weight on this leg first. After that, and uh, after that, move this leg to this position. And only after that, bend forward and start <laughs> yeah i draw it a little uh, let, let, let also check it in the movement yeah something like this maybe i draw it a little uh, uh, exaggerated but i'm showing the idea 
So you can use this this idea as the uh, not as uh, with the big attitude, but uh, this even small movement, small anticipation should works uh, when you are uh, when when you're trying, especially when you are uh, doing this this difficult stuff, difficult body mechanics where. Uh, which should, which needed to be done pretty clear with weight shifting. Yes, and after that he will move on a straight leg. Yeah, I'm just drawing a, a scheme here and here and raising up yeah in even if in my uh, weird drawings <laughs> it already works let me let me draw this really first very first pose yeah it works now because i know this uh, I, I i can feel it in my mind uh, how the weight works that why even even with my uh this sticky lines and uh not 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 accurate drawings it it start it, it starts work And the very end, when he, she is adding his she's action, you know. Also, yes, uh, that this whole action a little uh, you know, a little strange because you cannot uh, tear off the uh, leg from the ground if the weight not shifted on the opposite leg. Here, so this all action looks a little weird. But you have these, uh, you know, secondary actions, all this uh, stuff, you know, which uh, allow uh, to feel, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned it before, it, 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 it actually works, especially landing. And all the accents are uh, exact. So in general, it, it, it this is the case when the animation uh, animation uh, uh, from the body mechanics position not uh, done pretty well, but the timing saves everything. You know all this accent and uh, accents and right timing points works pretty well. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, uh, that's all the notes. So uh, I would recommend you to. I also uh, don't know what what level do you have. What what uh, uh, you are? Uh, it's written all the three D artist and animator. I don't know, uh, yes, which animation level do you have in your uh, career right now? Uh, you are student or you are finished or you are a professional uh, worker already, but you are a beginner maybe. Uh, but uh, anyway, you should move and study a little bit how body mechanics and weight shifts works. Uh, because you have the perfect timing sense, but need to improve a little the body mechanic stuff. Uh, and I think this is it for today. Um, thank you. I, I, I see that someone still watching us. <laughs> thank you guys for being our uh, audience today.
and I hope all the note uh, was helpful and uh, see you next time and keep animating and uh, hope everything is okay with all of you and uh, wish you peace and luck and uh, health and everything uh, everything best see you